the first task. needs to be done today on the portable forge I need to go get some batteries for my welding helmet sure is a fine Sunday morning August the 7th 66 degrees this morning when I woke up not much more than that right now Well, I'm not really sure when it happened, but this feller down here has had a flyer. The poor bastard lost his tractor, his garage, and whatever tools there were in it. And what appears to be about a 65 Mustang. say that this holds true for all of these port band saws but for harbor freight ones you have to have them plugged in or they don't run you to look at this. I use this wire brush to scrape paint off the ceiling of our back porch area. My lovely wife Janice is going to paint it. And look at what that paint did to my wire brush. I've, I've been using that brush on steel now for a good couple years and look at what that paint did to it. Ain't that something? over here so you can see what I'm looking at. Right there. And we'll move this table a little bit. up against it. Oh, I think we'll be okay. Close enough for government work. Oh, wait a minute. I don't work for the government anymore. Well. We've got it up on a stand. There's a 
about one inch off on my measurements but that's okay because I wanted feet on the bottom of that anyway so we've got feet on the bottom of that I think it'll work pretty stable I don't think I could put some braces on it but I don't really think it's going to need it that much we'll get the get the blower and stuff mounted on it put some put some holes in those axles put carter pins or uh, snap pins in them rolls nice and easy Well, in between going to get batteries, I've got a little bit done out here. I uh, made these brackets to hold the, the blower on there. Seems to work. I just got done fabricating this pipe. Had to swell that out. And uh, how's that for? How's that for a muffler job? That'll work. I think it's just a little bit too long, but a little bit too long is better. Get back where we can see it here. There it is so far. Put this pipe on there and see what it looks like. And there we go. It ain't any too long. I hope it'll stay on there. I think it will anyway. Now to make the to make the cover. It folds out into a table. I had this sticking out here longer. Thought it'd be a good place to put tongs, plus it'd be a good handle. Not thinking it didn't hit that handle, but it would hit your knuckles as you came around. Can't have no knuckle busters. And that's probably a good place to quit for the day. I've got the lid built. I need to still put the legs on it, but I've got it built and got it attached, and it works okay. Seems to seems to it fits real good and snug. So maybe, just maybe. It'll make it so that it'll seal off some of the coal that's in there. If, if I leave all the coal in there, you know, let it cool off, then shut, the, shut it up, which it doesn't take long for it to cool off. I can shut it up and load it up just like that. And then Pull that out. And I've got some table space. Now all I need to do is make some legs for that. And then figure out a way to make it so I can attach that to their leg vise. That ought to stiffen this up out here real good. Should have had an order.
And if it burns up, it burns up. If it burns up, I'll just... Replace the wood with some steel, make it a little heavier, but that's the way it is. I still need to add, <clears throat> add a stop so that that'll only let down to where that barely misses the ground. But I just weld a piece of rebar across there. That'll stiffen that up a little bit. <clears throat> stiffen that up a little bit and also provide a stop. I might do that before I quit. I don't know. It's getting late. Been out here all day. Need to pack up so I can go to the state fair tomorrow. We'll see ya!